Greetings and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc. and today I'll be demonstrating how to create web catalogs in Oro Commerce. In Oro Commerce, a web catalog is a content management tool that helps you build highly customized versions of your storefront by allowing you to mix category pages, product pages, pre-existing system pages, and more. The web catalog represents the website's main navigation bar. Web catalogs allow buyers to browse this collection of products, click on them to view details, add them to your shopping list, and ultimately purchase them. Oral Commerce allows sellers to customize this catalog for specific customers or customer groups. You can create new web catalogs by navigating to the main marketing menu and using the drop-down to select web catalogs. The following types of pages are available to customize your web catalog. System pages, product pages, product collection, product category, and landing pages. A system page is one of the standard Oro Commerce website pages. For example, the sign-in page, the user profile page, open orders, and more. A product page is a direct link to a product in the category displaying the product details. A product collection is a dynamically generated group of products that are stored as a data segment. For example, you may only want to show products in the collection that are new or listed as a featured product. A product category displays a listing of products that are grouped in a category from the master catalog. A landing page is a section of a website that's accessible by clicking or being directed from a hyperlink. Often this is the first page customers see when accessing a website. In order to add a landing page as content, you must first create a landing page in the Marketing Landing Pages section. For more information, please see the Landing Pages section of the Oreo Commerce Documentation Library. Oral Commerce sellers can create and add additional pages to the default catalog or switch out the entire catalog for a new one. Sellers may want to change catalogs seasonally, or they may want to create a sale for VIP customers and redirect particular customers or customer groups to a promotional landing page. Using restrictions, it's easy to ensure that only particular customers have access to these customized pages. For our example, We'll create a new catalog record and then assign it as the default catalog for users to see when they log in. Keep in mind, our initial catalog is going to be empty until we demonstrate how each of the content pages work. Then we'll demonstrate adding pages to the catalog and finally restricting them for specific users. First, we need to create the web catalog record. Navigate to the marketing menu and use the drop down to select web catalogs. The web catalog grid displays listing all customized web catalogs. To create a new web catalog, click the Create Web Catalog button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Give the catalog a meaningful name. Enter a description for the web catalog. If you are creating this for a particular promotion or sale, this would be a good place to include these details. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Your basic web catalog is now created. Now we'll assign this catalog as the default catalog. This means anytime a customer arrives at the storefront, this new catalog is displayed. Navigate to the main system menu and use the drop down to select configuration. The configuration page displays. On the left hand navigation panel, expand the websites option. Select Routing. In the Web Catalog field, use the drop-down to select the new web catalog. When you're finished, click the Save Settings button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll view our blank catalog by navigating to the storefront and reloading the page. As you can see, this is the basic Oral Commerce default storefront, which includes the slider and the product category images. The only menu options here are About and Contact Us. Now it's time to create the first level menu items. The first level menu items are menu items which list as menu headers and link to specific content pages. A good first step is deciding on a content page for buyers to land on when they arrive at the storefront. This doesn't necessarily need to be a landing page, but it could be a product page or a system page. 
For our example, we're going to create a web catalog that demonstrates all the content pages available, starting with the landing page. The landing page will replace the default landing page previously displayed. First, let's navigate back to our web catalog. Navigate to the Marketing menu and use the drop-down to select Web Catalogs. Click on our new web catalog to start editing the content pages. Click the Edit Content Tree button. Enter a meaningful title for the page. Set the Rewrite Variant Title checkbox if you'd like to customize the title of this page. For example, we're adding a landing page for the customer, which is called Summer is Here. If I write the title to say Summer is Here 2018 and check the Rewrite Content Variant checkbox, OroCommerce uses this new name that I've created instead of the one created for the landing page. Click on the SDO link. Here is where you can add a meta title, meta description, and meta keywords for the content. A meta title is what is seen by search engine users and helps the search engine to index the page. A meta description is a 160 character tag that summarizes the page's content. Search engines show a meta description in search results if they see the searched phrase in the description. Meta keyword tags are tags that appear in HTML code and assist search engines in finding the information on this page. Click the Restrictions link. Restrictions are used when sellers would like to restrict pages to a particular localization, website, customer, or customer group. For example, a seller could have a special page with special pricing available for bulk purchases. We could then create a page which displays the sale information and restrict it to only groups such as wholesale customers or bulk suppliers. We'll demonstrate restricting pages later in the tutorial. If there are no restrictions, the page is viewable by anyone who can access the catalog. Click on the Content Variance link. In the upper right-hand corner of the page, you can use the drop-down to add a type of page. For our example, I'll be adding a landing page. As previously mentioned, you'll need to create the landing page first. More information for this is available in the OroCommerce documentation library. Use the drop-down to select a page. When you're finished, click the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll return to the storefront and reload the page to see our new landing page. As you can see, we have a new landing page which has replaced the OroCommerce default landing page. Still, the only menu items available are About and Contact Us. Return back to OroCommerce to add additional content nodes and work through the first level menu items. Now we'll repeat this process to add a system page from OroCommerce. A system page is a page generated by OroCommerce out of the box, for example, open orders, order history, or the quick order form. For our example, we're going to demonstrate creating a menu item which links our customers directly to open orders. We want this to be on the same level, so make sure you're on the home page content node. Click the Create Content Node button. A blank content node form displays. Fill out the general information, SEO, and restrictions as previously demonstrated. The URL slug is created for you, but you can change this value if necessary. Click the Content Variance link. Now we're going to add a system page, so click Add System Page. Use the drop-down to select a type of page. For our example, we'll select Open Orders. Click Save in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll return to the storefront and reload the page. You'll see from this example that we now have an additional menu item for open orders. Buyers now have a quick link to view the order status by clicking on this menu item. Now we'll return back to OroCommerce to repeat the process to add a product page. On the left-hand navigation pane, make sure that you're on the home page node because we want this menu item to be on the first level. Click the Create Content Node link. Enter a meaningful title. For our example, I'll call this Bulk Promo Item of the Week. Fill out the information as previously demonstrated. 
Click on the Content Variants link. This time, use the drop-down to select Product Page. And then use the drop-down to select a product. When you're finished, click the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll return to the OroCommerce storefront and reload the page. You'll see from this example, we now have our landing page, open orders, and a new menu item for bulk promo item of the week. Keep in mind, you can drag and drop these menu items into a different order. Now we'll repeat the process for a product collection. A product collection is a filter-based segment that helps you display a custom set of products in the web catalog. Make sure you're on the home page node. Click the Create Content Node button. Give the content node a meaningful title. For our example, I'll create a clearance page full of sale items. Fill out the page as previously demonstrated. Click the Content Variants link. This time use the drop-down to select Product Collection. Here is where we can define the items to be included in the product collection. The segment name will be auto-generated. You can see here that there are tabs for items which were added by filter, excluded on purpose, or added manually. To use Advanced Filtering, click on the Advanced Filtering button. A segment dialog displays. You can create segments using a variety of filters and conditions. An easy example would be if you wanted to include all products that have been created since the beginning of the week which have been featured. Drag the field condition option over to the configuration box. Use the drop down to choose a field. Select created at time. Where the field requests the value, click the between link and use the drop-down to select Later Than. Enter a date. For our example, we want products that have been created no later than seven days ago. We can use the variable Today minus seven. Drag the field condition over to the design box and use the drop-down to select And for the condition. Use the drop-down to select Is Featured. Under Select Value, use the drop-down to select Yes. Now we'll be capturing all new products that have been created within the last seven days which are featured. Now click the Preview Results button. As you can see, we now have two items to add to this product collection. Under All Added, we have a total of two. In addition to using advanced filtering capabilities, you can manually add items to this product collection by clicking the Add button. Select the checkbox for any items you'd like to add to this product collection. Click the Add button in the lower right of the dialog. As you can see, we now have five products added total and three of them have been added manually. Once you've gone through the process of adding your products to your product collection, you can view the results and then click the X button to specifically exclude an item. Now you can see that we have only four items added, one was manually excluded, and three were added manually. When you're finished configuring your product collection, click the Save button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now return to the OroCommerce storefront and reload the page. As you can see, we now have a menu option for our clearance sale, which includes all the items we created in our segment. Now I'll repeat the process to create a category page. This link spires to a specific product category and lists all the products within. On the left-hand navigation pane, once again, make sure you're on the home page node in order to stay on the same level. Click the Create Content Node button. Give the page a meaningful title. For our example, I'm going to use Medical Uniform Sale. 
Fill out the information as previously demonstrated. Click the Content Variants link. Use the drop-down to select Category page. The Category page is a direct link to an OCommerce product category and lists all the products within. Under the Category section, select a product category. For our example, we're going to select Medical Uniforms. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll return to the OroCommerce storefront and reload the page. As you can see, we now have a link for medical uniform sale, and clicking on it will display that product category. Now we've demonstrated how to use all the content pages available in OroCommerce. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to restrict a particular page to a particular customer. Earlier in the tutorial, we added a landing page that was the default for all users. For this example, we'll add a second landing page and restrict it to one of our customers, so they'll land on this page instead of the default page. On the left-hand navigation pane, make sure that you're on the home page node. To add a second landing page, click the Content Variants link. You can see the first page we added is listed here. Now we'll use the drop-down to add the second page. Use the drop-down to select a customized landing page for the customer. Under Restrictions, use the drop-down to select a customer. When you're finished, click the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll return to the storefront and reload the page. As you can see, our logged in customer now has the new landing page. If we log in with a different customer, or log out entirely, we'll see the default landing page displayed. We won't see this new customized page, as it has been restricted to this customer. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocommerce.com/media-library.